Hi. Um, in this video, I will show you how to evaluate the scattering cross-section or scattering efficiency of some isolated nanoparticles. In particular, for this video, I will uh, make uh, use of this paper as a verification for our results. Uh, so here I need to simulate some nano disk with radius uh, 225 nanometer, height 400 nanometer, and refractive index is given by 3.25. Actually, the refractive index in this paper is slightly different from this one, but uh, just for simplicity, I assume it uh, to be this one. I believe that uh, you may find a lot of tutorials on the internet how to use console to evaluate uh, the total scattering cross-section, but very little that uh, can show you how to calculate the individual contribution of each multiple alone, like this contribution of magnetic dipole, electric dipole, quadrupole, of both electric and magnetic. And uh, for this purpose, uh, we need to know how or what are the expressions exactly used for the magnetic dipole ED or all the multiples. Uh, so I uh, give you the link for this paper in the description. It uh, shows you the exact formulas for the multiple decomposition, even beyond the long wavelength approximation. So basically what uh, people usually do is uh, give some approximate exp expressions for uh, the, the uh, multiple of some nanoparticle, assuming that it's much smaller than the wavelengths. But uh, when the wavelengths gets comparable to the nanoparticle dimension, these approximated expressions uh, fail. And uh, but this paper gave uh, the almost very accurate result. Uh, whatever the size of your nanoparticle. Uh, I take some equation and table from this paper that we are interested in. So equation one, one in this paper tells you that uh, the total scattering efficiency is given by superposition of each multiple contribution. And uh, specifically for uh, the electric dipole contribution, you need to sum first over the x, y, z. So alpha uh, is x or y or z. And then square each individual contribution and multiply by this prefactor to get the expression for the total scattering of the electric dipole. Similarly, for the magnetic dipole, you get it by this second term. But uh, please be careful because there is some typo here. This one should be c squared not just C, and C is the speed of the light. The third term gave you the contribution of electric quadruple, and you see here summation over two indices, similarly for the magnetic quadruple. And how to evaluate each component of these uh, multiples is given in table two. So for example, if you need to evaluate Px, you go to table two and put alpha equal to x in this expression, and you find that it's given by the integration. And the integration domain here is uh, the volume of your nanoparticle. In our case, is the nano disk. R is just the position vector. J alpha omega is the induced current in alpha direction at your operation frequency omega. And J node KR is just the spherical PCL function. K is your wave number, and uh, J2 is the spherical basal function of the second order here. And uh, what is J? J is when you do the simulation in console, you can get the electric field inside your particle, and you already know its permittivity, and also you know the frequency. So J is the multiplication of these three terms. And one here is your the permittivity of the background. And in our case, we chose it to be free space, so its permittivity is one. But for example, if you need to choose some other substrate, like glass or something uh, else, you need to update this one by your uh, surrounding area. 
Um, so, uh, because the video might take a very, very long time if I show you step by step how to uh, plug in this expression into console. So, I instead I put in the description below this uh, text. And what you need to do is to go, for example, for the first title, I call it parameters, go to the text underneath, copy it and open a new notepad and paste this text in the new notepad and save it on your desktop for example and call I prefer that you call the file parameters but you cannot uh, you can call it whatever you like the second file is go to the exact formula here copy all the text underneath and also go to a new notepad paste this one and save it in your desktop as well the third file is called integral copy go to new notepad paste and save it the fourth one and the last one as well it uh, is the results you copy it and go to new notepad and paste and save it so I give you a brief overview of what are these text so the text under parameter is the geometrical parameters of the our structure so here it's just a simple nano disk with the radius uh, 225 uh, nanometer and the height 400 nanometer and R here will be clear when I open console, it's the radius of the sphere of the simulation. This exact formula is just translation of this equation into console. So for example, Px is given by this expression. And uh, when you go here, you will find that the electric dipole in x direction is given by this expression. And uh, also, in this uh, in this table you see that we need to do some integration over the nanoparticle so we need to define some component coupling on console I will show you how to integrate over the nanoparticle volume and the last thing is the results we need to show the scattering efficiency using uh, this relation so basically the steps are again uh, first, we write these formulas here, and then we define the integration domain over the nanoparticle. And the last step is to calculate this expression after we evaluated P alpha, M alpha, Q alpha, beta, and Q alpha, beta for electric and the magnetic dipole. And uh, the last thing I need to mention here is how you can drive this expression for J but you may not be interested but it's also uh, an old textbook problem you can find it in any EM book uh, you can just look at these uh, equations and you will find that the scattered field is related to J and J is the induced current given by the same expression I wrote in the previous uh, slide here delta epsilon is epsilon minus one so let's now move to console so I open console go to model weather 3d you can use EMW or EWFD but for the expression I wrote I wrote it for EWFD but if you are going to use EMW you can just replace EMW by EWFD study and I need to study in the wavelength domain. So the first step is to go to parameter, go to load from file, and from desktop choose the parameter file. Then go to definition, variables, load from file, desktop, go to exact formula for integral, also define another variable for the third part in the text in the description 
integration so you see here that there is a warning because we still didn't define the integration domain defined by the component coupling and op1 and uh, the last thing in the definition here i need just to create uh, or define this uh, spherical pixel function so we call it jn and the expression for this one is pi divided by 2 divided by x multiplied by vessel j and plus 0.5 x and it has two arguments n and x and the arguments both of them have no units and also the function doesn't have any units I believe this one is square 2 divided by 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 x so now go to the geometry create your disk the radius is r disk the height is h disk and make it centered so let this one minus h disk by 2 go to sphere make radius r so you should have structure like this now because we created our nanoparticle we need to define the integration domain of this nanoparticle and you can do this by going to definition component coupling integration and select this nanoparticle here uh, if you go to the second set of variables you see that the warning is no longer exist uh, the last thing is to add the materials to your model I know that the refractive index of the nanoparticle is 3.25 then we need to define the that this is a scattering problem so we need to solve for a scattered field and we know that the electric field is incident for, uh, is polarized in the x direction and uh, going in the positive z direction so you go in the x direction of the background field and type this expression awfd.k node is uh, is the wave number of the of the electromagnetic wave but uh, you have to write it like this because when the solver will sweep it will take um, it will sweep also this value here and the last step is to go to physics and define this outer boundary as scattering boundary condition and we know that because this like sphere we need to define the outgoing as a spherical wave and if you increase the order you will increase the accuracy also some um, in some other method you may need to add some perfectly matched layer if your nanoparticle is too large or too complex and you cannot tell that the scattered field is just a spherical wave and uh, to do this you need to go to definition here and you see that you can add perfectly matched layer I may show it in another video but not here but uh, of course it will be more accurate but uh, for this simple structure I prefer to keep it fast like this and uh, then go to the wavelengths domain and we need to solve from 1 micron to 2 micron and take 100 steps for example or let's take it like uh, 50 steps just to speed up the simulation and then go to the mesh and build all uh, of course make it extremely fine will take a very very long time uh, especially console and 3d simulation is very very small it's very very slow so i prefer to keep it like normal like this and then uh, now we are ready to run the simulation here 
Now the simulation has finished. It's finished. And um, takes almost two minutes. You see that uh, the electric field is displayed as an initial result. What we need to do is to evaluate the scattering cross section and the multiple decomposition. So go to the results here and from global evaluation load the file the force file you have saved here called results and open it and then evaluate this one just so let me you know that uh, the evaluation also takes some time because it performs some integration in the nanoparticle so take with me like uh, less than one minute almost and uh, Yeah, right now it's evaluated already. Then I need to plot this one and uh, show the legend, increase the width. And you see here that uh, I already evaluated the total uh, scattering cross section given by this colored curve here and the electric dipole by this blue curve magnetic dipole by this green curve actually I believe also I did some uh, mistake normalization because you need to normalize by the disk no I already make it uh, correct so I normalized by the uh, disk radius here and uh, you see this these are my results you can compare it with the paper you might find uh, some slight deviation because as I told you I I take effective refractive index and also uh, I didn't make a very accurate simulation so I make this uh, sphere radius very small of course when you increase it you will increase the accuracy also, if you add um, a perfectly matched layer, the accuracy will be increased. But this uh, this is just as um, a verification for the results. Uh, of course, this particle doesn't need to be a nano disk. It can be nanosphere, whatever particle you have. This expression still works, but uh, you need to update the division by the area. So you need to normalize by uh, the area of your particle um, uh, I believe I didn't miss anything right now but if you think I missed something uh, please let me know and I will be happy to answer your comments thank you